Priya, my Turkish dish is really simple. I'm going to make a Turkish rice and lamb bake with cabbage all the way around it. What I've done is taken a cabbage roll mm -hmm. and I've made it easier. We're actually going to use the cabbage on the top and the bottom of it. Oh. Lamb and rice and flavour in between and we're going to bake it in the oven. An easy way of doing it. And it's a great way for people to try Turkish food. Now the first thing we need to do is take this cabbage. Now I've peeled off the leaves and washed them really, really well. Now normally we would blanch the cabbage leaves. Mm -hmm. But what we're going to do is steam them. I've just got a little bit of water in the bottom there. And then we just grab the cabbage leaves and pop them straight into the pot here like this. So they start to sort of snuggle up. On goes the lid. And that's going to take a few minutes to soften up. And while that's softening up, we're going to cook the lamb and rice mix. Now, to start off, we've got an onion. You're going to chop that onion there. Oh, OK. I'm going to chop this one. Oh. Now, this mixture is going to be the flavour that holds the whole thing together. Mm. So we want to make sure we've got lots of really nice ingredients that will be delicious. Are you Beautiful. That? I am. Look at you chopping that onion. You've learned a lot, haven't you? Now, I'll add some herbs. I've got some thyme, some dill and some chives and I'll chop them up as well. I want these herbs to cook with the onions and the garlic mm. so that I get all of that flavour through at once. Now, I've got a pan here that's nice and hot and I can tell the pan is hot. One. Mm. It's radiating some heat, but it's also got the thermo signal. When that thermo signal is a solid red, I know the pan is good to go and it's nice and hot. It's also a really good non-stick pan, so I know that nothing is going to stick to it all. And see how I throw it in there without yes, any... any oil. No oil at all. In it goes. Mm. Nothing will stick to this pan, no matter how... And you know how intense I can cook? Well, I've tried and it doesn't. So if it doesn't stick with me, it doesn't <laughs> stick. There we go. Now, Olive oil goes in there, a good sploosh of extra virgin mm. olive oil. It's going to become part of the dish. So we just need to stir that around nice mm. and gently and we just add flavours as we go. Mm. Now, this is some dried oregano. Lovely. In that goes. And some dried mint as well. And the dried version is really lovely. A very Turkish flavour is the oregano and the mint. And the thing about using dried herbs mm. is you get a much stronger flavour. Now, in goes some chilli. I'll put some pepper in here as well. This is the part I love the most, Priya. I love this, Richo. So I normally put my herbs in later. So I would have probably put the lamb in, then thrown the herbs through, the, the fresh ones. But you cook them off for the extra flavour punch, don't you? This is my topsy-turvy Turkish method of cooking. Okay. You like that? Now, in goes some red peppers, because we want a bit of colour in there, and yes. sweat that down. Now, if you can pass me that lamb there. Yes. Now, you can just make this without any meat, but I love lamb mince in here. Lamb is one of the best. Now, you can see I'm using a really good wooden spoon here that I bust up and we'll break up all these lamb pieces as they cook. OK, Priya, the cabbage has got a couple of minutes until it's nice and soft and the lamb's got a couple of minutes till I can pull it all together. Mm -hmm. I'll be able to add the rice to this, some red pepper paste, and show you how delicious this will be. Great. Oh, look at that sizzle. Now, the red pepper paste has got to go in there. That is a classic Turkish ingredient. You can get it hot and spicy or mild, whatever you like. Now, rice. I've got two cups of rice. I've washed it and drained it, mm -hmm. and I'll throw that straight in here. We'll sweat the rice off just a little bit so that it picks up all those flavours. In with Lovely. the lemon zest. Yes, beautiful. Over the top. Yes, straight in there. Wonderful. We're picking up lots of flavour here. Yes, I love it. It's coming together beautifully. It is. Now, another pinch of salt in there because salt loves meat, meat loves salt. And Turkish food needs to have lots of salt in it to make it even more delicious. Have you used basmati rice? I have used basmati yeah, rice, so perfect. you've got a lovely flavour there. Yes. A little bit of east meets west, and that's there the thing you go, about a collision. That's the thing about Turkey. It's on the uh, the Asian side and the European side of the yes. continent, so a bit of both. Mm. Now, a lovely pot. I've let it cool down a little bit, and we've let the cabbage leaves cool mm. down. So, if you pass me that, what we'll do with this is just line the bottom of the pot and the sides mm. with the cabbage leaves. And that'll form a base and it's sort of like wrapping the entire mixture Beautiful. in cabbage. All right, up the side there like that. Out of this, I'll pour in the rice and the lamb mixture into the centre of it. Okay. Now, normally I would add the stock to the rice before I put it in, but because I want it to come together beautifully, mm. I'm just going to pack that rice in there like mm. this 
and then pour the stock over it. All of it? Put all the stock okay. on straight over the top there. The rice will absorb about double its weight. So two cups of rice to about four cups of stock. So okay. in that goes. The other trick is just use the back of the spoon to push down the rice so it's covered by all that liquid. The thing about rice is it needs liquid to absorb so it cooks. So if it's sitting up on the side there, it, won't it cook. doesn't absorb Agreed. nothing at all. There we go. Now the cabbage on mm. top, just pack it all the way around here Love like this. Love this cabbage. I grow a bit of cabbage, Richo. I bet you do. Yeah. This is, and it's really easy to use. The, so easy. It's usually the inside we use use for things like coleslaw and cooking, mm -hmm. and the outer leaves we discard. So this is a great way of utilising the, the, the whole cabbage. Yep. Now, my oven is preheated to 170 degrees. The stock that I put in there was quite hot, so I know this is going to take about 20 to 25 minutes to cook all the way through. Wonderful. Off comes the lid, Priya. Mm. It does smell glorious. It does, it mm. does. Now, you can just scoop it straight out of the pot, but I'm going to show you a little technique that I like to Holy do. Holy mama. You like the plate? I love the plate, but I'm, I'm loving what's to come because it's such a ritualism. I would never do it at home, but I love being here for it. It's simple, isn't it? Mm. Now, here's the trick. You put your hand over the top and grab the handles nice and firmly like this. You're mm. stepping back. I am. You don't need to step back. And then it's just a matter of... There we go. Oh, wow. You like that? Yes, you did it with conviction and I think that's what matters. There we go. And then you oh. carefully peel that off. Holy, oh. look at this. Ta-da! Beautiful. It's beautiful. And you can see there's a little bit of the juice around the bottom yes. of it. It's held together beautifully. You can imagine popping that on the table and everyone, ooh, yeah. ah, wow. get excited. Woo. All right, grab me a fork. <laughs> you are excited. I now, am. I'm just going to go around the back here and try a little bit of this rice and a bit of that cabbage mm. there. Mm. I love this cabbage trick that you've shown us today, Richard. I love it. It's a beautiful dish, isn't it? Mm. The cabbage goes all the way through it. You've got the lovely spices, the lamb in there as well, the peppers, and Priya, a really simple two-pot dish. I love how much flavour has packed into that rice, Richo, and I'm thinking you could chuck even more veggies in there, as well as the cabbage, and you've got an absolute winner. Just put a salad on the side.